In this video, we will discuss about the relationship between connector housing, wires, connector pins and electrical current. Everything we have here on the screen is all you need to make a harness work. Because all the other components like protection and retainers and all the other stuff that you have in a harness, those are only to protect the harness and to retain it on the vehicle. But those in here are the components that make the electricity work. So you need wires and then you need the power supplies and the consumers or the receptors. The connector housing with pins are devices that are used to connect and disconnect the wires from ECUs, power supplies and the harness families between them. Because as we all know, we cannot just connect the wires directly to everything. Those harnesses, they need to be separated, they need to be mounted, they need to be dismounted and they also need to be transported. So the ECU or power source, because in a vehicle we have ECUs that give signals or receive signals. And by ECU, I mean electrical control unit. So I don't mean, so I don't refer to the engine control unit. Like uh, many times you'll see ECU means engine control unit, but ECU also means electrical control unit. So all the control units in a vehicle, they are ECUs. And I know this seems a little confusing, but it's just a thing that happens in automotive. So the power source are the batteries that the vehicle has. So a vehicle may have one or more batteries. Usually there is a 12 volt battery. If there is an electrical vehicle, it's also going to have the traction battery. And the 12 volt battery is going to be only as a reserve in case the traction battery dies. So you still have some electricity to get out of the vehicle. Or and the ECUs, they receive power from the power source, but they also might send power to other devices or signals and so on. So through the wires, they usually have power supply that is continuous electricity going, but you might also have signals that uh, the ECUs will send to other devices. So the ECU or power source decides the voltage and amperage in the circuit. If a wire is used to transport power supply, you need to check the voltage rating and the current or amperage and choose the correct wire that is going to support that. And if a wire is used to send a signal motor that moves the wiper mechanism, for example, if you check what is the current that the motor is going to draw on its own, you're going to have one value. Let's say you're going to have five amps. But when you connect it to that wiper mechanism, under the stress of that mechanism and the wiper, just dragging on that window, that motor is going to draw more current. So it's going to draw 7 amps or 8 amps. So when you choose a wire for something, you need to choose the wire. And this might seem like, like a lot, but when you work in an automotive company, those things are already there because they are already building vehicles and they have been doing that for years. So you might have something from last year. You might check something from an older version, but not too old. And then the Sherlock Holmes work is going to be to know what changed to that uh, device. And then you have the connector housing. And this is selected based on the environment and usage. This is everything they have to do the pins. So you need to check what voltage and amperage you have on the wires. And more is the amperage because the voltage rating has to be the same for all of those. And from that list that you find from the supplier, from the connector housing, you need to check the amperage. So let's say this is for a certain CSA. Let's say you have 5 amps. And the, the pins that you choose, we've seen that the wires, they get mounted into the pins and then they get crimped with a tool. So you want to make sure that also they are compatible from this point of view. And many times the supplier will add exactly in there what type of wire with crimp with the pins so it will give you the amperage of the pin the CSA of the pin and also the amperage of the wire the CSA of the wire and uh, they are going to be they are going to mention there that uh, those wires they can be crimped on this pin you need to make sure that the wires and the pins have crimpage tests and uh, they are crimp compatible because if everybody says no then it means those are the wires that uh, and the pins that uh, you need to use so you want to make sure that everything uh, you put in a harness, if you're going to become responsible for that, it's also validated by the company. So in this video here, I gave you a little more information from uh, each point of view. 
But the reason I made this video and to simplify things, I just wanted to show you the relationship between connector housing, connector pins and wires related to the circuits, to the power supply and the ECUs. This is because if you get asked at an interview how do you choose wires, you cannot discuss only about voltage, amperage, CSA and current. You also need to discuss about other aspects from the wires. So you need to know because if you change a wire in a circuit, you need to check if... Uh... So there is a relationship between them and uh, if you get asked about this at an interview, you want to discuss, you want to have a conversation, not a one word answer because those do not exist like uh, I said before in a video. And related to this, we also have fuses, which are also important, but we are going to discuss this in a future video. So see you in the next video.